Lucy, I want to talk about TSMC today, but I want to start by talking about Intel. So a few days passed. They tell us that most of their business sort of stinks, except for data center processors. Mm -hmm. They say they're going to cut capital spending. It's a kind of dreary, downturny sort of report, except for data centers. Today we have TSMC. They don't make data center chips. Was it just across the board dreary for them? Pretty much, yes. Uh, smartphones and China are the usual culprits. Mm. Um, they did, however, have one bright spot, and that is everybody's bright spot in tech at the moment, which is Apple. Yes. Although, to be fair, they don't actually disclose their customers, I should say. So this mm. is the analyst estimate, is that Apple is making up for shortfalls everywhere else. Right. Now, I, uh, I imagine that that is good volume business, but not good price business. Apple is a notoriously... Fickle. Fickle. They're, a, they're fickle, and B, they negotiate hard. They squeeze the supply chain pretty vigorously. Yes, I think, uh, well, the margins, gross margins were down 1% year on year as well for the quarter. Mm. So that's an indication of the fact that they've been behind Samsung in ramping up, you know, f advanced technologies. Yes. Again, the market sort of estimates that it's split 50-50 between Samsung and TSMC. But when you say split evenly, you're talking about the Apple account. The Apple account, well, yes. orders for yeah, yes, leading yes. process technologies mm. and, you know, and, and yet disclosure about where they might go with the next round is usually left until the last minute so that they can screw prices. So as much this, as possible, uh, so. the picture overall all doesn't sound so good so far. You have the general run of customers kind of in decline. Mm. You have one major customer that's doing well, but it's not a very profitable customer. Mm. You have a very highly capitalized and spending happy competitor in Samsung. Mm -hmm. You are not in the best growth part of the industry, which is data center chips. Mm -hmm. TSMC is a swell company and all. It is. A but swell this company. does not sound great, Lucy. Yeah, and I don't think I can actually make you feel any better about that either, because even if TSMC manages to hold its own through the cycle, which on the whole it has done, I mean, it's, it's got returned, a nice balance sheet. It's got a nice balance sheet. It's got about uh, it's got almost ten billion US dollars mm. on the balance sheet. Uh, it's raised its dividend as a pacifier for investors. It tends to perform quite well as a stock. ROE has never dropped below well, not never, but has dropped below twenty percent only once in the past decade. Mm. But uh, there might be more competition coming. That's, that's my biggest concern, is that China has really expressed interest to get into the market. It wants to beef up its technology offering. Yes, it's making acquisition offers to US chip companies. It certainly is. And we, we say like it's one thing, but China Inc, broadly speaking. China Inc, broadly speaking, as represented by Tsinghua. I mean, they also have SMIC, which is mm. technologically very far behind the leading competitors like TSMC and Samsung. But the government wants to make inroads there. So if it doesn't manage to create its own champion, it will try and buy something. And that's got to be a worry for TSMC in the long run. So cyclical story, bad except for Apple. And Apple is hard to deal with. Yep. Long-term story, competition going up. Yes. I'm in a bad mood now. Thanks, Sorry. Lucy. <laughs>